Hi plant friends, today I'm going to be repotting my Monstera because I've been having a bad fungus gnat infestation and now that I'm living with someone and my plant's going to be outside, I need to make sure that it's not bothering them and being a nuisance. So I'm just going to be repotting this and I thought I would film for fun because I do like watching these type of videos. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, this is my Monstera. You can already see like a fungus gnat here just crawling and then this is I've only had this sticky trap for I think like about a week and this is how much it's accumulated for this plant I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the soil the soil I'm gonna be using is this I have this cactus and succulent potting mix this is the one that I use that I got the fungus gnat, and I mean it is organic so that's why it happened. But I'm still going to use it because I don't want to waste it and I'm just going to put less of it. And then I'm going to be using this additional potting mix. This is just regular soil. And then I'm just going to use a lot of pumice. So much hummus. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. So I ended up putting like all of my previous soil and then this one and then also some pumice. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Let me show you guys. So this is what my soil looks like. It has like a lot of pumice in it. Um, so hopefully that will help with the, the drainage. I'm also going to be adding this fertilizer and just sprinkle it inside of here. Just kind of, how much fertilizer should I put? Do you guys know? So now that this is all done, I'm gonna put it aside for now. And I have to handle this plant. So I have this bag to put the dirt in. I'm just gonna remove these two. And I guess I'll just start um, doing it. I just repotted this plant in November, and it is about to be March. So it really doesn't need to be, technically, it shouldn't need to be repotted, but because of this fungus gnat infestation that I can't seem to get control of, there's nothing else I can do. I tried, well, I feel like I've tried everything. So this pole is going to go out first. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see how much water is left in here because it was not draining well. Oh, it's pretty dry actually. It's at the two mark of dryness. Wow, this plant is so big. I'm just gonna wiggle it out now. Ooh, I think I snapped a leaf or a branch. I really didn't plan this through, honestly. I don't even know how to repot a plant. I heard that if you just take out like the top half of the soil, then it should be fine. But I don't know, am I willing to risk it? Okay. Wow, I'm like breaking a lot of roots, but I don't know if it's because the roots are rotten or not. These roots inside that are perfectly in this sphere is from my old pot and then anything that's kind of dangling out are the new ones. This root system is crazy. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this and then use the new soil. I think I wanna put like a small layer of pumice. Just a light layer. Oops, that is not light. And then I'm going to shove some soil in here. 
probably do like a fourth of the way. And then I will put this. You know, I was going to tell you guys some stories, but it's kind of hard to do it at the same time. So I'm just going to not. <laughs> just going to repot it now. I think I want it a little bit higher, so, okay. I think this one is a lot better, right? Yeah. This is way better in terms of the height. And I also have this stick that I want to get into. So let me talk to you guys about my fungus net infestation. I think that the reason why I ended up getting it was because one, it was my first time like actually repotting. So I didn't know how much pumice to put. Um, I ended up putting like probably like 10% of pumice instead of like a lot of pumice. I don't know, it just wasn't enough aeration for the roots. So I think that caused some fungus snaps. And I think another reason why it happened was because, again, I think I said it earlier, but my soil was organic. So I think that the fungus gnats really liked how it was so nutritious. I think repotting is my least favorite activity. So who the heck wants to repot? It's so messy. And I guess I'll talk about, what is this? What is this? Like, why? Some of the things that I did to kind of try to save my plant from getting fungus gnat was one, I used some sticky traps. So as you see these ones, I went through like a whole box of it. And then I got another box. Um, and then I also tried to stop um, watering this plant. So I think since I've gotten it, I probably watered it like literally a handful of times. And then I also tried to use the, what was that called? The hydrogen peroxide mix with water. I tried to do that and it still didn't help in any way. It was just bad all around. And now I am going to try to tape it up with these Velcro things that I have. I got these from Amazon, which I will link down below, but they're reusable, so that's a good thing. You know what, I'm gonna chop some of these like little leaves out, but I don't know. I feel bad. I don't wanna break them off. Okay, let's just get them in position. So that's one. And then I think I'm gonna do one up here because this one is really like dangly. How does that look? What do you guys think? I think that's enough. <laughs> what do you think? I feel like they look so squished together, you know? I don't want them to be squished. That looks pretty good. No? I like this, the way this looks. And then I'm gonna be chopping off like these right here because these are kind of so, eh, they're so flimsy. So I got some shears and I'm just gonna kind of cut the ones that are very loose at the bottom or like just the leftover ones that are ugly. I'm just sick of them dangling like this. Okay, how about you? Goodbye. You too, I don't want you anymore. You need to go. What is this one over here? Do you guys need to go too? I don't know. Okay, those can stay then. All right, so I cut off one, two, three, four small leaves in total, and then this little stem thing. Now I'm gonna see if the soil is moist at least. Yeah, this is dry. So I'm gonna put some water in. So these two bottles are a mix of, ew, oh my gosh. That is gross. That's gross. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side. So these two have hydrogen. I think it's like one fourth of hydrogen peroxide and the rest is water. I'm gonna do this much. So like 
a little less than half to start. Let's see if it's. I don't see it draining. Okay. One full bottle. Oh, yes. It's only coming out of one area, but that's okay. Perfect. All right. So that is all that I have for you guys today. This was not what I was expecting. I was expecting to talk more about what happened and the process that I went through with this plant, but I really just got caught up with the mess it gave me. It's so big now that I can't barely manage it. And I hope that there are no more fungus gnats anymore because they have been spreading to the rest of my other house plants. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Bye.